Well, hello there, guys. Long time no see. <laughs> welcome to, welcome back. Welcome back, it's good to see you. So I have been called to do a reading for the collective. And that is what I'm gonna do. Ace of Wands is confirmation. Now this is coming off of the Black Tarot. I was pulling out of my quick draw um, and I was called to use this deck specifically. The, back, the Black Tarot, excuse me, was behind this deck, but I took the very first card off the top of that with this and it is in fact the Ace of Wands. So we are in alignment. All right, so let this get, let, blah, 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 blah. Let's get this reading for the collective. God, source, creator, angels, thank you so much for bringing us together and please, and thank you for so much for giving us this opportunity to uh, communicate with you. Please tell us what you feel we need to know. Tell us what it is we need to know at this time. Thank you so much, God, source, creator, and angels. Last shuffle. The Hanged Man. So a lot of us have been in a, um, a type of limbo. Uh, uh, this has been a, a very enlightening period for you. Uh, this is a situation in which you've been held, or at least you feel like you've been held. You feel like you've been trapped. You feel like you've been overwhelmed. You feel like you've been overwhelmed to the point that you couldn't take action that was uh, proper slash necessary if if this resonates with you you understand what i mean we have the high priestess also with this um so this has definitely been a moment a, a time period in which you have had to heavily rely on your intuition uh because this is a situation um that you've been in in which only your inner guidance can truly guide you through the situation you had at hand, whether it was because you could not trust the external individuals around you, the affluent and abundant and successful individuals around you is what this feels like, um, because they were out of alignment with what you're, with the energy that you are move, currently moving into, or it's just that you were you found yourself very much alone here it could be a combination of both actually you could have not been able or felt like you could not or were not able to trust the other individuals around you even individuals that were very very wealthy very very successful very very affluent like that kind of energy you still couldn't trust them because they weren't experiencing the same energies that you were experiencing whether they actually did this in person or not but it feels like when if or when you brought this energy up to them or if you were to bring this energy up to them they would look at you like they had six like you had six heads because it's like what i don't know what you're talking about i don't understand this this is scaring me these are things that their minds would be saying and this is not to judge them in any way but this would just be a demarcation of how different or how much you've grown is what i'm hearing um, and how different you are from these individuals. So now, in that sense, I'm feeling like these may even be family members. Um, uh, <laughs> I just heard co-conspirators, okay. Uh, but individuals that you used to vibe with, individuals that you used to click with, like even family members, people that maybe you considered family. So this could have been a group of friends. This could be a collection of friendly people. Uh, people that are friends people are but but really you guys considered yourself a family because you were really tight or you had a really strong common goal or common interest but you have evolved from that honey that's why you've got this hanged man energy going on oh okay <laughs> all right last shuffle all right honey let's get this tea you still have the hanged man at the bottom of the deck, okay? Ooh. Ooh. For a second, I thought he was reversed, but he's not. All right, show me what's going on for the collective right now, please, Spirit. We have the tower. It's coming out in reverse. What's going on for the collective? I feel like you're averting a tower. 
I feel like you are circumventing a tower. I feel like a tower moment is happening around you and you're aware of it. It could be one of those, any of those things. It could be a combination. It could even be all. Who knows? Take it as it resonates. This is a general reading, right? Place it in your life where it fits. If it doesn't fit, then just move right along because it's just not a message for you this time. Uh, okay, but you have the tower in reverse here. Um, mm, circumventing a tower moment is what I'm hearing. Continue, please. What do we have going on for the collective at this time? Let's collect what we can know at this time. The Ace of Cups is following it. We're going from the Tower in Reverse to the Ace of Cups. Okay. Last card, please. What's going on? Ooh! Death. So this Ace of Cups is a card of reassurance. I'm not going to lie absolutely what it is this is the card this is a card that says the divine still loves you even though you're going through a pretty extreme transformation right now but you're handling it well aren't you the tower is in reverse y'all tell me you're not handling tell me you are not surfing this mother freaking wave <laughs> tell me Tell me you're not, please. I would love to hear that for you because you know what's going to happen when you tell me that? I'm just going to laugh. <laughs> that is a really good joke. You should tell another. <laughs> tell me you are not riding this wave right now and you are surfing this shit like you got, like you got it because you know what? You do got it. Jokes aside, like literally all jokes aside, you do got it. That's why you're surfing this wave so well. That's why the tower's in reverse, honey. Because you're doing this real well. I just saw 655 on the counter. I know it's a shit show. Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, but what you, can you see what's, at the, what's underneath the Five of Swords? Because I can, just from looking at the camera. Can you see what's underneath the Five of Swords? Strength. To what? The Ten of Ooh, 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 nope. Temperance. That's what's next. I bet you did see what was there before. Oh my God, temperance. I bet you did see what was there before I um, tried to show you, but uh, that's okay. I see what it is. And honestly, quite honestly, you know what? Quite honestly, I, okay, yes, I get the privilege of seeing what that is because I'm the reader, but quite honestly, the divine said, fuck that shit. Throw that over there where it belongs in the trash so you're not don't, don't even worry about it because you know what comes after the five of swords with all the strength you have behind it is temperance to the lovers meaning meaning give it time because you are balanced or things are working out in your favor why because you are balanced you have temperance here which is divine timing yes but it's also alchemy is about bringing the two the two opposing sides together or two differing compounds together to create a new one right or uh, to alchemize correct underneath temperance is the lovers which is the balance of the masculine and the feminine that is the highest form of this in the tarot, meaning this is your higher self. These are spiritual balances rather than just merely 3D. These are, these are major arcana, temperance and the lovers. Hello? Hello, temperance and the lovers, right? Okay, so this is high order. This is high balance. And you're, you're fighting. You're not even fighting. You're not fighting. Why? Because really, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. There is, a, there is a very strong ending happening, okay? There is a very, very strong ending. And the reason why Spirit doesn't want me to show you those two cards is because they don't want you to focus on that anymore because that is exactly what's ending. So stop focusing on it. Keep focusing on the future. Keep focusing in front of you. Stop looking behind yourself. Stop looking in the past. The past is the past. It happens. It happens. You can't change it. No matter how painful it is, it happened. 
you can't change it. So instead of looking back there and quite frankly, re-traumatizing yourself, you're better off looking forward into the future to create something new and something better from the viewpoint that you're in right now, right? Stop looking behind you. Stop looking behind yourself. That should be the title for this reading. Stop looking behind yourself because that's never going to help you. I mean, well, eh, it could. You know, when you're trying to like, you're trying to um, uh, learn from hindsight, okay. But honestly, looking behind you is really not, I still want to say it's never going to help you, but I just wrote it down again, so okay. I didn't actually, I, uh, anyway. Um, let's keep going. I want to do some clarifying. <laughs> So I was called to use the, ten, the, the black tarot. I was called to use the black tarot as a, as a clarifier for us. And that, which, which, was at the, which was below before. And remember I pulled the ace of swords, right? Before, the first time, right? Because it was, okay. Oh, right, because the ace of swords was at the top. There it is, it's still there. Okay, at the bottom of the deck is the six of wands. That's victory, that's success, that's happiness, that's harmony, celebration. Six, literally, the number six literally represents harmony, okay? Uh, no matter what it is, the six, six at its core represents harmony. Leave that there, don't worry about it, okay? So, let's carry on. Let's continue. We're going to clarify. Uh, I do want to start at the Tower Reverse first. For the collective. Okay, last shuffle. Show me more, please, Spirit. If you would, I would greatly appreciate it. Gladly appreciate it. You have the world starting you off, clarifying everything. Okay. Big cycle change is what I'm hearing. Cycle command. I feel like you're, um, I'm seeing the emperor after this world energy. So that's telling me that you're kind of in command. You're in command mode. Ooh, I like that. Um, Aries energy. Okay, you don't have to be an Aries. This is not, this is non-denominational. Okay, we are not talking to any specific air sign. Uh, air sign. That's uh, Aries is fire. Oops, sorry, we're not talking to any specific sign. Okay, we're not even talking zodiac signs. This is a collective energy. But Aries would be represented by the emperor because Aries is very go getter. Okay, so if you can speak in astrology terms, this is a very Aries type energy that I'm picking up on right now with the world. Well, after the world. I feel like with this, now I'm calling it the magician. I was calling it the emperor. Still Aries energy, by the way, with the magician. Also a combination too, because the magician can kind of be Scorpio. Um, I want to say Pisces also, uh, maybe Gemini. Anyway, um, when I'm speaking to the uh, astrological signs, don't think about, I'm not, I'm not saying it for you to think about someone who may have that sign. I'm thinking, I'm speaking of it for you to think about what the properties of that sign are and to apply it to the energy that I'm describing right now. Does that make sense? Excellent. Um, anyway, the world to the emperor and the magician, uh, the emperor, you're in control, you're dominating, you're dominant in this situation. It really takes like, if you, excuse me, it really feels like you are taking control of your life. You're doing things your own way, but you're doing it consciously. You're doing it deliberately. With the magician, that would be the energy of you doing it, right? The emperor is the drive behind the action that the, um, the magician is taking, okay? Does that make sense? That's all behind the world. Um, you're actively creating change for yourself. Okay. Let's talk about the tower in reverse first. We do have this five of swords here, but mm, nine of pentacles. You're declaring your sovereignty. Oh my God. Nine of pentacles to, wow. The nine of pentacles to the eight 
of swords. And as I saw the nine of pentacles, I was saying, before I saw the eight of swords, I was saying, you are declaring your sovereignty. And then came the eight of swords. You are breaking yourself out of some sort of mental prison, some sort of mental confinement. This is clarifying the tower in reverse. better gone sister friend brother friend like damn that's good i like that what's the tower in reverse anything else for the tower no that's it okay we'll leave it there the t <laughs> yo overall energy at the bottom of the deck y'all i can't make this shit up it's the fucking tower dude <laughs> i love it i love it i love it you can't make this shit up you can't. I mean, that's fucking amazing. Like, come on. Okay, so you're breaking free from this tower. Oh, uh, yikes. Okay, I may have had this wrong for some of you. And if you are sticking through this up until now, thank you. And I appreciate you and I'm glad you're here. And I really am not trying to mock you in any sort of way. Okay, because I've been here before. <laughs> but the tower in reverse for some of you may be exactly what you are trying to avoid. No, but see, that's not even it either. Maybe you were trying to avoid it before, but there may be some of, okay, okay. Okay, but there may be some of you that have been trying to avoid this and this is exactly what you need to do. You need to stand up for your sovereignty the nine of pentacles, or in this case, the nine of spheres. You need to stand up for your sovereignty and stop taking orders from someone else. The emperor takes no orders. The emperor gives orders, okay? Just so we're clear, okay? So stand up break yourself free the tower it's interesting that this situation is represented by the tower and now i understand why it's represented by the tower but in reality it's represented as the tower in reverse okay a reversal is like it, it could be a really extremely negative version of the tower or the tower in reverse would come out when as i was picking up before in the case where someone may be actively trying to avoid a tower or maybe you could say a tower moment did not work what is a tower moment a tower moment is when some this is, is this, uh, the tower moment is an extreme form of destruction. It's a very sudden situation that is very jarring, very emotionally jarring, very physically jarring. It's very physically, emotionally disruptive. Um, it's a massive change all of a sudden. It's that kind of situation, right? Okay. This time. The tower in reverse represents your mind, your reality, your situation being appropriated by another entity. The tower in reverse for this situation represents someone's mind, someone's sovereignty, nine of pentacles, being misappropriated, being appropriated by someone else other than its original owner. Does that make sense? That is why the tower is in reverse this time. And that is why here, the tower is upright because this is the appropriate appropriation of one's own mind. Hmm. This means you are taking your mind back. <laughs> the simple terms are that. This means you're taking your mind back. Good for you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay. That is why we have this Five of Swords energy. I want to talk about this Five of Swords energy for you. So tell me about the Five of Swords, please. Wow. 
keeping the tower at the bottom of the deck, y'all. We are keeping the tower at the bottom of the deck. What you have clarifying this Five of Swords are, or is, the Magician and the Two of Spears. Directly speaking, excuse me for the, excuse me. The Magician and the Two of Spheres. This is someone actively, someone, some entity, something, some entity uh, uh, actively manipulating your experience or an experience. It could be the experience of many individuals, right? Okay. This is it right here. The Magician and the Two of Swords. I'm sorry, not the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. Two of Spheres, that's what I was trying to say. But over on the other side here, for you, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. So that tells me you know exactly what's going on here. The Ace of Spheres and the Ten of Spheres. You've got the whole fucking book right in your hand. And that's why this individual wants to manipulate you. That's why this energy is happening. That's why you need to just put your sword down and walk the fuck away and don't get involved again. But you know that already. Ain't nobody telling you, you anything you don't know right now. <laughs> All right, cool. Let me get you some closing oracle guidance. Three shuffles here. On the split, we've got Ascension and Breaking Molds. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, there you are. Yes, that's one. Closing Oracle Guidance, please. All right. Yeah, Breaking Molds is at the bottom of the deck. I like that. Closing Guidance, please. Mm, okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have good choices. Expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past. Okay. I like that. First card out you had is imbalance. There is an unequal power dynamic in a situation that needs to be brought back to balance. Okay. You have that with encounter. An unexpected encounter will slowly alter the course of your life. Keep an open mind. So I'm assuming, well, or I'm, I'm, I'm garnering, I'm thinking that this encounter may be with whomever or whatever you have this imbalance with. And that could have been everything that we were talking about right here, right now, today, okay? And then finally, you have community. Good time to make new connections. The universe may send some beneficial alliances your way. So then, for the greater collective, or and maybe just for some of you, um, but for the greater collective, this could be talking about new individuals that you could be encountering that can help you heal or correct some sort of energetic imbalance in your life. But for some of you, this, uh, for most of you, it's new people. Spirit really wants me to emphasize that for most, 90%, I want to say of the collective that resonates with this reading right now, it's a new people. 10% of you, there is someone from your past that is coming back that you are going to be, or that you can. We're not telling you what you can, what you will or will not be doing. You have the opportunity to, if you choose to take it, you have the opportunity to reconcile with someone from your past to correct this energetic imbalance. For others, others of you, it's someone new, new people is what I'm hearing. It's new people. It's not necessarily just a romantic connection. It's a community, friends, people that become friends that then ultimately become family is what we're talking about here when we say community, okay? There you go. 
There you have it. Also remember that good choices are on the bottom, is at the bottom of the deck. And that's why the tower is in reverse. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you are well. Um, I look forward to seeing you again. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, bye. Mwah! <laughs>